Well, hey everybody, and welcome back. Well, today we've got an article from the Daily Mail, and I came across this thanks to Computing Forever, and I just had to read it for myself, and then I say, oh my god. Right, so, without further ado, let's dive right in. Has political correctness gone barking mad? Academics claim sexism is turning dogs crazy because Pooch's struggle to meet gender stereotypes. <laughs> oh, brilliant. That is just fucking retarded. Academics Paul McGreevy and Fiona Proben Rapsace say sexism is harming dogs. Professors from Sydney and Wollongong University slam gender expectations. They argue owners' gender identities are affecting the behaviour of canines. Oh, fucking really. Ex-Labour leader Mark Latham accused him of imposing radical gender theories. I'm not fucking surprised. Oh my god, right, I've got a dog, right? And dogs run on pack rules, right? There is an alpha, there is a beta, there, and the dog's like the gamma down the end of the list, right? There's a hierarchy when it comes to dogs, right? And it's just all animals will... All, well, all pack animals have a hierarchy. And for, they're animals. Stop trying to push your gender fucking narrative and your gender ideologies on fucking animals. Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Sexism is apparently bad for dogs. I don't believe I want to fucking see it. Academics Paul McGreevy from the University of Sydney and the University of Wollongong's Fiona Proben Rapsey have blamed gender stereotypes for harming the mental health of pooches. While we know how damaging stereotypes can be for humans, dog owners may not consider just how their conceptual baggage of gender stereotypes affects the animals they live with. They said in an article published on The Conversation. Right, I've never actually read The Conversation, but I'm presuming it's a pile of shit. Right, so... Let's keep a look. Dr. McGreevy, a professor of animal behaviour, and Professor Proben Rapsey, a humanities act academic, I don't fucking believe that when I see it, said many dog owners were forcing their own gender identities on their pets. Fucking <laughs> hell. The lives of dogs depend on how they conform to gender expectations, they said. Aye, very fucking good. They argued dog owners needed to reflect critically on gender stereotypes to avoid canines being treated badly or being placed in an animal. Into an animal. Oh, right, okay. Former Labour leader Mark Latham said it was ridiculous to impose on canine radical gender theories in the idea of a male patriarchy. Okay. They produced this incredible article extending all the radical gender theory that we've got in the human world to the world of the canine, he said in a video for Rebel Media. Yes, the poor harmless little dog has now got to be subjected to the leftist gender theory. Whoever thinks dogs in terms of gender? If you're out there walking your dog, you're out there playing chase the stick, chase the ball, you've got to reflect on gender stereotypes of the dog. Seriously? I don't fucking blame him. Thought I recognised him. Rebel, right? <laughs> the university professors also criticised the use of the word bitches to describe a female dog. Considering it also a derogatory term for women. None of these animals had to force have much to do with the animals themselves, but more how we use categories of animals to categorise humans, they said. So unpacking and challenging gender stereotypes might also improve the lives of animals too. Fuck off. They added that dogs reacted differently to men and women, arguing a dog's gender was an important and owner compatibility. <laughs> Fuck off. Right. If a dog is with a woman, right, the dog's going to be loyal to the woman. But if a dog's with a man, he's going to be loyal to the man. But if in, the, in a relationship where there is a both male and a female dog owner, the dog will listen to the dominant personality in the relationship. Right? And if that's the male in the relationship, fantastic. If it's a female in the relationship, fantastic. Now, in my case, I, I'm not the dominant one, but in the dog's eyes, I am. Right? As far as my dog's concerned, it's me, my partner, the kids, then him. He knows the score. He has been put in, he knows where his place in the totem pole is, if you would call it that. So, animals know, they all, animals, 
develop a natural equilibrium with their surrounding environment. Mammals do that all the time. We humans don't. We migrate into a place, we colonize, we expand. Animals don't do that. Right? So why would we even consider trying to place our gender stereotypes onto animals? Because it's just fucking retarded. In all sense of the word retarded. Well, anyway. So, I just thought I'd have to say something about this. Being an animal lover and a dog owner myself, I mean, I prefer animals to people. At least in that there's no subterfuge with animals. They, if, you, if they don't like you, they don't like you. If they like you, they like you. It's, it's fairly comforting to know that there's something that has absolutely no qualms about telling you how they feel. You know, if they don't like you, they will stay away from you, they'll growl, they may bark. If they like you, they'll come up, they'll get petted, they'll show affection towards you. Animals are a very good judge of character. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. If you want to leave a comment about this, fantastic, please do so. I do love reading your comments. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. And thank you very much for watching. My name is Alexander. I'll catch you in the next one.